Should a bookkeeper have to spend time in jail for stealing from a women's shelter? A local judge sentenced her to be incarcerated, but is now reconsidering. Teresa Schmidt explains. When sentenced in April, Megan Boudreau was given 30 days to get her affairs in order before reporting to serve three years in prison. That's for stealing nearly $200,000 from Oasis, an area women's shelter. But her attorney has asked Judge Robert Wyatt to reconsider because she has a child to care for. The judge asked probation and parole to study if home incarceration would be appropriate for Boudreau. Both the prosecutor and the director of the women's shelter are against that. I'm adamantly opposed to that. Uh, I think the sentence that was given was already a little too lenient, but I, I respect the judge's decision and I think he should maintain that uh, sentence. From what I understand, you are uh, ordered to stay at your home. You are allowed to go to work and church and uh, that's pretty much it. I don't agree with it at all. Basically, that would mean she doesn't have any punishment whatsoever for stealing all the money. Plus, so far, Boudreaux has yet to pay back any money she stole. I think it's crazy that people can steal hundreds of thousands of dollars and they don't want to send them to jail. She stole $181,779 from the Oasis Women's Shelter, and she did so during Hurricane Laura and throughout the pendency of COVID. So this was really when the domestically abused women uh, and the abused women in our parish are, are at their lowest. Judge Wyatt suggested Boudreaux make some restitution before her next court date. He also said in court he's not sure he's ever sentenced anyone to prison for theft. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News. The defense attorney said they will wait to comment until the judge rules. Boudreaux is to be back in court September 25th when Judge Wyatt may decide her fate. The prosecutor says if she is given home incarceration, he will ask for an ankle monitor.